So in this video today, I want to talk about some fears of my own and how fear can hold you back from this game too. Hey Bible Believers, it's Joel Kimmel here from In That Word and in today's video, I thought I'd just share a couple of, or at least one specific personal thing and how um, at the time I was really fearful about actually taking this step and how since I've been actually doing it, things have been so good. Alright, so um, let me give you a bit of the backstory. So, it's only about eight years ago, um, a couple of years into salvation at this point and obviously I'm growing and I guess pretty now look back now look back it was really immature but I had this whole mindset of oh you need to read through the whole Bible and it, it, there was sort of a contrasting um, emotion here okay because on one side I really loved the Lord and it was really just about you know what I want to be just in the word um, in and out day and night but on the flip side, it was kind of like, well, once I have read the whole Bible, I can turn around and say, I've read the Bible, and that will automatically make me some scholar, okay? And stuff like that. So, from that point, okay, maybe not straight away, because at that point, I was really hungry and on fire. I was reading scriptures regularly in just how I wanted to, just from an enjoyment standpoint, reading the Gospels, reading the Old Testament, reading about Jesus, reading about prophecies, reading about creation, reading about all different things across the Bible, okay? Um, just pretty much just excited. So obviously it got to a point where it's like, okay, you know what, I want to read the Bible because then I can put my my chin up and say, you know what, I've read through the Bible, you can't, and we haven't done that X, Y, Z, and all well, well, my that makes me think I'm better than you, okay? So, some point after that, what I started doing is, again, still conflicted here, I started to make sure um, I started doing those typical reading plans through the year, okay? And my whole mindset was, you know what, okay, after I've done this, um, I would have read through the Bible. Because at that point, I think um, I hadn't necessarily been counting, okay? But I may have read through it um, just by going all over the place. But I knew obviously after I did that conclusively, this would mean I've actually gone through the Bible now. So that was one of the things that was driving me. So I went through it um, and over just different years, I tried to make sure that every single year, um, I read the Bible at least one time, okay? So what actually started to happen is I did it, did it again. Then I went to two times a year, um, did that for a couple of years. Um, and so forth okay and i've been doing that for quite a number of years now so this year which was really interesting is leading up to the year god said to me don't do the yearly plan don't do any sort of yearly plan okay and when i heard this i was kind of like it automatically consumed me. I was like, no, 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 but if I don't do this, because I had kind of gone past that kind of childish uh, mentality. I kind of went through that the first time, went through it, um, realized it didn't make me any more holy or so to speak. Okay, still I'm a sinner like anyone else and stuff like that. So I started to realize, you know what, reading through the Bible really um, it didn't give me what I wanted, but what it did make me realize is it gave me a lot of knowledge one but two it made me realize a lot more that you know what you have to keep reading it anyway i knew that before but i knew it even more now so as the year was getting close i think i had went through two reading plans last year and i'm kind of saying to myself is this something i really want to do this this gives me a lot of structure okay we're not including just any of my leisure readings or anything like that um, but this just gives me consistent structure every single year to know to know at least I'm covering the whole Bible, okay? And that was my big fear. You know what? If I stop doing this because I've been doing it for so many years and multiple times through the year as well, um, at some point it's going to affect my reading, okay? So ultimately, I allowed that fear to drive me into the new year. Just carried on with two reading plans. Um, I think up until about somewhere in March, somewhere in April. And I was reading through these days and every now and again, not every day, it would just come into my mind, you know what, 
you know, God said, don't do this reading plan this year. And I go through the whole thing, and oh, but you know what? If I don't do it, I'm not going to be able to read through the Bible. I'm going to, I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to um, read. I'm not going to be able to maintain my reading. Okay. Um, and just this period in time in April, I said, you know what? I'm just going to be obedient. Um, I already know. I said to myself, you've already wasted four months now. Okay. Um, just walking in fear. Just do it. So I just stopped. Okay. Now, as I record this video, we're in September, about to be in October, and since that time, I haven't gone back. I haven't looked back at the reading plan this year. Now, that isn't to say I'm not going to ever do a reading plan again. That isn't. Me, this isn't me saying don't do reading plans or anything like that. But there comes a point in time, um, multiple times anyway, in people's lives, in their walks with God, where God will tell you to do something. Okay. Not necessarily because something's bad, um, not necessarily because you're never going to do it again, but firstly, it's a test of faith, okay, it's a way for you to increase faith. Secondly, um, it's growth, you're going into a, 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 new, a new phase, okay, a different phase. Could be the same phase you've gone through before, but now just you're in a different position because you've got more knowledge this time and all that kind of stuff. So from April, I kind of just said, you know what, I'm done with the reading plan. Have a look back since, and let me tell you this, okay, just as a testimony for those of you probably going through stuff now, thinking, should I do this? Should I? Should I do this? Yes. And when I made the decision, I said, I've been down this road before where God's told me to do something, and I haven't done it straight away. And after I started doing it, I look back and I'm like, man, why did I waste this much time? Okay. And I tell you this now. Some of the readings I've been doing now have been some of the best readings I've done in years. And the reason I believe it is, it's not because I've done away with that structure. I truly believe it's because I'm now being obedient to what I believe and know God wants me to do, right, particularly now. Okay? So, I've covered loads of different things. I've gone through different parts of the Bible, um, just leisurely. So right now I'm in the book of Jeremiah, about halfway through the book of Jeremiah. Um, and just enjoying it, okay? And if you don't ever decide, you know what, I'm going to be obedient, I'm going to walk in faith in these particular situations, this is what you're missing out, okay? And it's not to say my Bible reading was good, okay? I was enjoying what I was reading, but I'm enjoying this more. And that's, that's the whole, that's how God works, okay? You can do things, okay, and things can still turn out, and things will still be good in a lot of cases. But you can find out what God really specifically wants you to do in certain areas of your life, and once you do them, they'll be even better, okay, than what you actually had before. So that's just a quick video for me today, just giving you a quick um, testimony of um, one area in my life where I've been. Just really, really enjoying um, time and, and in fellowship with God, and it all came down to a decision I should have made four months earlier at the time, but I eventually got there, made the decision, and enjoying the results so far um, in 2018. Thanks and take care.